guys, my name is Carissa. This is the Fat Girl Flow channel, and today we are going to be hauling some stuff, some plus size stuff, on this channel today. Please excuse the mess in the background. <laughs> Bless you. So, I have a few things to haul today from one of my favorite stores. These are all from Rainbow. If you've never been to a Rainbow, you probably didn't grow up in the 2000s, but lucky for you, I did. And I know Rainbow's out there, and I'm gonna keep talking about them. I have lots of stuff to show you, so I just wanna go ahead and get started. I did post an Instagram um, picture the other day in this sweater, and lots of people asked about it. It is the sweetest little, is this lilac or lavender? I'm not sure. Um, it's a light purple color, and it has a knot back, and I love this. It is so soft. It's I think it's called like an eyelash material. Can you guys see that? It's a very, very soft, and ooh, I love it. Feels like you just want to get warm and cozy in it, you know what I mean? Also, if you've never shopped Rainbow, I think that this top was maybe like $16, 20 bucks at most. Uh, everything is very, very inexpensive. And recently, Rainbow has been making up to size 4X, so I got a few items in 4X that were available as well. Since this video is going up before Black Friday and the holiday, I figured I would take a minute to tell you guys that I do have all of the like best Black Friday deals for plus sizes listed at fatgirlflow.com. There's a post there. There are so many sales that are like 60 to 70% off. We are only allowed to share those sales once they go live. So I have everything set to go live at midnight um, between Wednesday and Thursday if you're not good at like PM and dates like me. Uh, but it goes live at midnight and it will tell you all of the best plus size deals that you can get. And uh, I mean, I'm one of those people that like, I'm not gonna go out shopping on Black Friday. That's just not in the cards for me. But I will go online shopping on Black Friday. So if you're into that, fatgirlflow.com, uh, there's a whole post over there. I am currently obsessed with thermal things. I feel like they are like a sweatshirt, but better because they're thin. This is a, it looks kind of, it looks very bright in the screen, but it's actually just kind of a warm, kind of red orange, and it's a thermal top. It's cropped and has a little hood. This is the kind of stuff I like to like wear to yoga because I can still move around in it. Um, I. The yoga class I've been going to is in like a really old building and so it's a little cool in the morning. So having something that I can take off with a sports bra underneath or something is really nice. So I'm excited to wear this to class. Oh, and this is in a 4X. This is one of their 4X pieces. Um, they have everything in their plus sizes up to 3X, but I was pretty excited about them carrying 4X, so I am trying to buy more of their 4X stuff and like actually seeking it out and looking for it so that I can show it to you guys. I also got this wildly soft jumper. My best friend, Allison, buys like several of these every summer, and it's basically what she lives in all summer long. But the only ones I have ever seen were on Amazon and they didn't have like straps that you could adjust and they also like the straps were really flimsy. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to try it. What if it doesn't have flimsy straps? There have been two jumpsuits that I've owned now that I've broken the straps off of. So I'm hoping that this one, uh, the straps do not break off of it, which I don't think they will because they're actually like sewn in instead of just flimsily attached, like I can pull them on pull on them and they're not breaking. Again, I think this would be a really, really good yoga thing to wear. I could just wear a sports bra under it and move my body around. A lot of the yoga class that I've been going to is like laying down poses and I have a tendency to have like my shirt up over my head and my pants falling down. So this might be a good option for yoga class. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wear this everywhere this year. It is a orange turtleneck with like a distressed kind of hem. I love this. I've already worn it. It is so cozy. The fabric of it is like, it's thick, but not too thick. And it's soft without being like this eyelash material. Like it still feels like a 
structured sweater that you could wear with jeans, but it's like a little bit softer. Does that make sense? And the neck on this is very loose praise. I mean, God bless, because man, sometimes I'll get on a turtleneck and be like, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> Next is this sweater that looks like the sweetest little Christmas sweater. When I took this out of the box, Jay was like, oh my God, that is so small. Because when you look at it, it does look a bit small, but it is ribbed, so it stretches like a ton. And it is cute, man. This looks like, this looks like a 70s retro-y sweater that you wanna wear with bell bottoms. Am I the only one that sees that in everything? Do I see 70s vibes in everything? Anyway, I love this. I think I'm gonna wear this in the next video that we shoot because it's so cute and it's getting kinda close to Christmas, right? So the green and red varsity thing is appropriate. Is it appropriate? I wanna start playing Christmas music, you guys. I wanna start playing Christmas music, y'all. I really do. Do you start playing Christmas music as soon as uh, November ends or do you wait because I'm ready I am ready for Christmas music okay the next thing I got I was expecting to be different I don't know what I expected out of this but it wasn't this I this is what it is it's like a mesh button-up shirt I'll show you the picture of it uh, online but I don't I genuinely don't know what I thought this was going to look like on me, but it is not what I thought and probably not something I'm going to wear at all, if not super often, but I'm glad that I got it because you know what? Sometimes it's good to try different things. Uh, honestly, I could see this being really cute on someone who is a little bit more glam than I am. I think that, I think I get really excited about pieces like this because they're different and interesting. And then I realize that I'm neither of those things. I'm neither different nor interesting. So then I realize who I am and that I'm just going to keep wearing leggings and sweaters and probably never wear anything cool like this and question why I got it. But I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I saw it because it's good to try things outside of your comfort zone. You know what I mean? I also got this tie-dye t-shirt. Uh, everyone needs a tie-dye t-shirt, right? It's wildly soft. I did not expect it to be this soft. It does have matching pants with it. I knew like I'm just a little bit too tall for any of those like stretchy matching pants sets. They're always high waters on me, so I knew they wouldn't work. Um, but I do really like the top, and I like that it has a little tie. This is in a 3X. I could definitely wear this around the house with leggings, like all the time. The last thing that I got from Rainbow is perhaps the most extravagant. Uh, it is this bomber jacket that is like this gold silky material. I mean, I die, y'all. I just, I die. How freaking cute is this? Again, I am not glam. Who do I think I am trying to wear something like this? You gotta try new things. I don't know who I am trying this, but I really, really like it and it's so, so soft. I will say that this jacket does not fit me like I would want um, most of my jackets to fit me, but it does fit as like a third layer kind of thing, like over the top without zipping it up or whatever. Um, I think that these kinds of jackets, I, when I buy them in 3X, I kind of know that it's probable that they won't zip. I'm technically a 4X, so ordering a 3X is always a little dicey. Um, but still, even for a jacket that like, you know, I can't zip up, I still think it's cool and looks cool on and with like a white tank and some jeans, this is a cool jacket. I have makeup to show you guys too. I'm very excited about that because I never get makeup in the mail. Never, ever, ever. But I got makeup in the mail this week and it was from some things that I have never, ever tried before. And I love so many of them. Hi, from this angle, uh, this is the Benefit Ipsy box that I got. And y'all, I really don't get like beauty stuff very often at all. So this was very exciting for me. Also, let's just have a moment for my mustache. I'm about to wax. I just bought wax strips. Mm, yes. Also, my chin hairs. We're gonna wax tonight. We'll, we'll take care of it. But look at all the goodies in this box. Uh, I already opened the Gimme Brow. There is highlighter, bronzer, 
two different kinds of mascaras, a brow setting gel, professional. It's just, it's the best box. So I thought I would show you guys a couple of the products. One of them, um, Gimme Brow, is like, I just used it on my hand. That's not poo. Um, but I've heard so many things about it that I was really excited to try it and it does not disappoint at all. It's like exactly what everyone says it is. It like beefs up your lash or your brows without looking wild. It's so good. The other exciting thing, I have been out of bronzer for a while now <laughs> um, and I have never tried the Benefit Hula bronzer. So I'm just gonna use the little brush that they sent with it because let's be real, you guys. I'm not a makeup expert, who cares? But look, I love this color. Look, ugh. I used it the other day. I like whipped it out and just used it immediately. I love this bronzer. If you guys, okay, I should fill you in. If you are unaware of why I'm using bronzer up here, it is because I have a very high hairline and I want to make it look lower. So if you put bronzer up in your hairline, it can darken the hairline and make it look like it's shadowy, which makes you like, which brings your, brings the shadows down. That doesn't need to make sense. Don't worry about it. It's not that important. But the other thing that I got was their cookie highlighter and I'm excited about that too. Y'all, I don't get makeup enough, obviously. Okay, okay. I, uh, I'm one of those people that really doesn't know how to use makeup, but I thought I would show y'all the cute things that I got from Benefit anyway, because Ipsy sent them to me and it was just really sweet. So this little fashion blogger got to have a little beauty moment and it was really nice. That's everything that we're hauling this week. I'm not sure what we're hauling next week. I know that something's coming in the mail, but I can't remember what. Big deal kind of sales for Black Friday are listed at fatgirlflow.com, so go check those out. Other than that, this is it, y'all. What are your plans for the weekend? Uh, my sister and I are going to, my sister's in town. She's a thin, so we're going to do a video kind of like talking about fat issues with her. Uh, I asked about it on my Instagram, at fatgirlflow, and y'all were really interested in it, so on Sunday, my sister and I will see you. Uh, it should be really fun, and I love my sister. We get along really well, and we're able to like talk things through really well, so even if we don't maybe see eye to eye on things, um, we don't like... We don't really argue that much, so it should be an interesting video. We'll see how it goes. Until next time, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys then. Bye!